Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron where we have manpower and that's weird, but uh, <laughs> Things seem to be going okay for now. I did not do the recruit and deploy Exploit that we've been doing I, I really do feel like that's an exploit But at the same time there's absolutely no way we'd be able to do this without it with our manpower gains But for right now, I, I've not done that this time because we have manpower and our army is full so I, I think that we can definitely go this episode without it for sure <laughs> that's for sure but how much are we making now uh 2.8k well that's an improvement for sure we've taken over this area we've taken over this island as well and we're going to head in and take this one next but i need to make sure this is going to be a little bit awkward because we'll have to add in that area as well okay and now these guys should get going once they are ready to do so. Which should be right now. They should be good to go. That's a Japanese unit there. It's occupied by Haiti. Okay, um... Apparently, I was uh, dumb. Yeah, that is occupied by Haiti. So, we are going to want to come down here instead. So, it's the same sea zones, pretty much. So, we're going to want to delete this order. And we're going to want to do a naval invasion. There we go. And we want to come on down to here. Now, we do see that there are some German troops there. This may or may not be successful. We'll find out. But as far as this over here goes, let's see, I'm just looking at the shape of these provinces right now. I really do want to push up to here and here. Taking these two provinces would be absolutely huge. And if we were able to push up here, and also push in here, that would be pretty huge. We'll see how realistic that is. We'll give it a go. That said, we're going to run into manpower issues eventually. And by eventually, I mean pretty soon. No reinforcements are being sent. Okay, I'm going to leave these guys here on assist attack. Like that. Okay, we took this location. That's actually surprising to me that that happened that easily. Cool. So we're going to continue to push up here. We now definitely need to take this location. Let's go ahead and toss in these tanks to assist, now that we have a flanking position. And I want to continue to head up this coast. Now they're sending reinforcements in over here. We'll see how successful they are. They are unsuccessful. Beautiful. So we're going to move these forces northward, and we're going to redistribute our forces a little bit. I would also like to come in to our 4.52k. There's not that much population in Eritrea here. We did have a month tick. Interesting. Well, at any rate, we're definitely going to build a railway up this coast. There we go. We'll get that going. And we should probably take a look at our land fort constructions here. Yes, we definitely want to back off on some of these. Specifically, these over here. Cool. So we'll look in at that. And the question now is, oh, there's a cipher for the German Empire. I'm not going to activate that just yet. I want to let our forces redistribute here a little bit. Because our front lines have changed a decent amount lately. So we're going to do that and also hopefully get some supplies up to this armored division. I want to check in on this naval base. Okay, that's not motorized. So we'll go ahead and motorize that. That should help that dramatically. Cool. Okay, so those supplies are much better. They've moved a lot of units out of here. Now, what do our movements actually look like here? Okay. 
do we wait on the reinforcements arriving here? I think the answer to that is probably. We have more troops shuffling around. I do want to have more units here, although what we're really looking to do here is attack here. Not necessarily with these guys. Attack here. And then these would assist the attack. So this is actually fine to run this attack right now. Now, it's dicey. It's certainly dicey. And getting this Alpine division out of this mountain province is going to be interesting. But taking Port Sudan means that they're going to have to send supplies overland this way. Now, we're already not in the Red Sea. Right. Wait. Uh, no, I don't want to save. Nope, nope, nope. I mean, I do eventually want to save. But I want to see what's going on over here. Yeah, this seems fine. We've got these convoys intercepted. We're going to have to back off on our naval attack over here, of course, eventually. But with this being controlled by Haiti, we should be fine over there. And then... This is also controlled by the British Empire. We can come out over this way and attack German Russia over here. Who does have some territory out in the Pacific. And I would definitely like to eliminate that. Absolutely. So that we would essentially entirely destroy any German naval presence in the Pacific. That would be the goal. So we're going to continue working on that. How's this attack going? Let's toss in these infantry units. That will make it a little bit more favored towards us. And we can definitely see that some of their units are beginning to retreat here. We'll bring in these guys as well. Cool. There goes another one. Cooperative Republic of Guiana, no thanks. The reason I'm declining that is because I think Guiana is African. Um, I, I don't necessarily know that. Actually, that's this over here. British Guiana. I didn't realize that. We don't need to decline that. Okay, good to know. But I don't want to give up any of this African territory right now. So that's fine. Did we succeed in landing over here? We're still heading in. So I'm not entirely sure that we're going to be able to win this. Actually, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> so we did manage to push up over here. Interestingly, it looks like we can do this. This is just undefended right now. We'll see if we can get there in time. I definitely want to continue building our railroad up over this direction. So that'll be okay. And we'll get that underway. I, I want to get these railroads built. Let's get that prioritized. And yeah, we just get Port Sudan for free. Fantastic. Now, they do have units that are trying to attack Port Sudan. We are going to reinforce there instantly. And there we go. Now I'm going to back off on all of these land forts for the moment. I feel like none of them are strictly speaking necessary at this exact moment. Okay. So that's all good. Now this attack over here is currently losing. But that might be fine. If they can't resupply properly, we can just relaunch this attack, in theory. But I want to think about attacking, like, here. So, who would we attack with? This unit would attack here. These guys would attack here. These guys would also attack here. And then these would assist. And these would assist. Like that. And we could take that incredibly quickly. Beautiful. So there we go. And now this location is quite vulnerable to attack. And we're going to do so. So we will attack with this force. These guys will assist. And these guys will assist. 
And there we go. Now they're sending a unit of motorized over. They may get there first. They do. But we can push them out. There we go. And then they sent a unit of regular infantry in. But we can just continue to take that, like so. Beautiful. So this location here is a very high priority for us at this time. Basically, the highest of priorities. And we can attack it from two locations here. So we can attack with our tank force here, as well as our tank force here. And then assist that with these infantry forces here and here. Cool. If we take this location, that will gut their supplies in this region. And basically, it's going to be free for us to push up to here. It'll also give us control over this airbase, which is a very big deal. They're sending in reinforcements, but I don't think that they win that. Yeah, we got it. So we're going to immediately move our airplanes up to here. Fantastic. And then looking at this, they do have another airbase up here that they can operate out of. They have very long range, so that's fine. But we can definitely take this air zone fairly easily from here. So at this point, I'm going to wait, I think, as our forces reorient along this front a little bit. Although I would very much like to attack here. These guys can straight up attack. And then these guys can also, I believe, straight up attack. Yes. Cool. This is very exposed, and we're just going to continue to grind our way through here. But we've got the difficult part under control at this point. We can see that we're out of manpower. And we can also see that we are struggling to attack these guys. They actually managed to get two additional divisions in there. That's fine, I guess. As far as our navy goes, I mean, having them in these three locations is a little awkward. I'm going to pull them out of the Arabian Sea for the moment. And we're just going to hold them in these two. That will still keep the Germans out of the Indian Ocean. So that should be fine. Okay. So how are we doing on our lineup here? We're moving units around. That's okay. I would like to attack from here. And we will assist that attack from across the river here. Cool. So there, are, there aren't really high priority locations over here anymore. We can try and attack here. And that seems reasonably good. Yes. Okay, so that sounds great. Their supplies over here are going to be very grim at this point, and our supplies are quite good. So no problem there. And these guys are just pushed out. So I'm not going to try to push too much harder along this front, because I would like to encircle these units. I'd like to just push in basically here. So to that end, I'm going to use these five infantry. We're going to attack here, and we're going to assist that attack with these tanks. Excellent. And we'll see if the Germans sense danger. I'm going to assist that with these infantry as well. Okay, I want all of these guys, or rather these tanks over here, as soon as the autosave is over. Boy, that was a long autosave. Okay. I want these tanks to help out here. Cool. Because if we can encircle these, then that's huge. Okay. So in we head. And I want these infantry in here too. The Germans will begin to retreat. I'm surprised that motorized hasn't gone. There we go. 
and the rest of them will retreat out of here shortly. Cool. So there's that position. Now these guys, we're going to leave them there, and we can re rearrange our units as we see fit. But for the moment, I want to keep pushing this way. Now we're going to have additional units heading out over here, and we managed to push them out of there, it looks like, already. That was very fast indeed. So I'm going to keep having our tank units at least two or... Oh, I wanted to have it paused here. At least two or three of them heading out over this direction. Now we can see that they have sensed some danger here, and they're sending units over. We'll see if we beat them here. I believe that this is a supply hub, is it not? It is. That's their other supply hub in this area. But they don't have any connection to anything there. So it's fine. I'm now going to send one additional armored unit over here. We'll see if we manage to get that. But for the time being, this will be a big encircle, if we can get that. I want these two units to be assisting this attack, but they are holding off this defense right now. Okay, we got them. We got them. These 24 units, I want them to immediately get an offensive line right here and start pushing in. These 24 units, I want them all along this front. Holding that. So we're going to need to send reinforcements over here. They're trying to break out. And I'm going to send a couple of units of infantry over as well to help hold that. There we go. Now our cipher was broken, which reminds me we broke their cipher and we should deploy that. We'll activate our decryption bonuses. Cool. So we're going to push them back hard here. And they're going to lose a lot. I want to check in on these guys. And get them to run this again. Okay. There we go. So how many units are the Germans going to lose here? We've managed to encircle so far. Well, how many do we actually know are here or were here? We may have stack wiped some already, but I don't think so. So 12 plus an additional 8. So 20 divisions here. If we look at the Germans... We can see that they have 549 divisions. So we're, we've encircled and are going to wipe 20 of those. So 20 out of 549. That's 3.6% of the German army. That's not insignificant. That's pretty major, actually. Oh, a sandstorm has broken out. Fantastic. Just what we always wanted. <laughs> Cool. So yeah, I'm just using the automated attacking over here because it should be absolutely fine. Over this way, we're just going to entrench in a little bit. Okay. I think we got them stack wiped there. Yeah, we got them stack wiped. That's fantastic. So these units are all going to move on up. And that's absolutely great. So we now know that our defensive line is here, right? We can definitely dig in here if we wanted to. I do want to make sure that that railway is still being built. And continuing our railway up this coast is not bad. So we'll get started on that, but we'll dig in here for a little bit. I want to check in over here. We've been sinking tons of convoys in these areas. So hopefully these guys have been unable to effectively resupply. But we did just have a month tick, so we will replenish some of the manpower that we lost in that offensive. Although it really wasn't very much manpower that we lost in that offensive. So that'll be great. That manpower is, of course, gone. But that's absolutely fine. So we have huge numbers advantages on the Germans right now. But this short line does favor defenders. That said... For the moment, I'd like to push up 
And we're going to use the automated tools for the moment. I'd like to push up to here. And we'll see how that goes. Okay. We have numbers on them, and the automated tools should be able to pull that off. So let's take a look at... Oh, we managed to get this. Beautiful. So we're going to delete that order, and next we know that we need to come in over this way. We know that Germany has this location and German Russia here, as well as... Oh, there's some German invasions happening in Japan. That's new. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. There's also some North American Association landings happening in Europe. Will these get pushed out? We'll keep an eye on it. But for now, we definitely need to drop a naval invasion order. And that will come from here to here. Now, we're going to have to move one of our fleets. So which of our two fleets are we going to move? It will be the smaller one, I think. I'm going to select this fleet here. We're going to move them back up into here. And the other fleet, we're going to move... We wanted that to be here in the Philippine Sea for now. Cool. Okay. So we're pushing in here. The Germans will have to reinforce this area because they lost a huge amount of their troops over here. But for the moment, we can push them back very, very effectively here. And that'll be great. So that supply hub was just taken. And in fact, if we're going to push them in, there's absolutely no point in doing this, right? So we're not going to do that. But we are going to continue our railway up here. Cool. And yeah, this is going absolutely great for the time being. If we start to run into an area where our cautious attack AI doesn't want to continue the attack, really, or is extremely ineffective at it, we'll take over. But for now, I'm completely fine with that general doing what he's doing. But I would definitely like to see the German incursions over here be defeated. I don't really know exactly how we'll pull that off. But we'll see. So yeah, we're definitely pushing in here, and we're pushing in very rapidly. We are starting to meet stiffer resistance, though. But this is still going okay, for the moment. For the moment. How are we doing on our... Manpower income, 2.92 now. That's definitely an improvement. Okay. So we're making big gains over here in Africa. There's no doubt about that. That's going very, very well. I'm concerned about what's going on over here. I'm hoping... Well, we should be able to take Devout extremely easily. Once we have that, we can take everything that they have over here. They'll have no supplies right? And Philippines, you're in the North American Association. So we'll be able to take this incredibly easily and kick the Germans out of here. Is this another German invasion? No, that's Portuguese. Okay. Just wanted to check that. But it is about time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll continue pushing back the Germans in Africa. And we will also continue pushing them entirely out of the Pacific. They've been removed from the Indian Ocean. Now they need to be removed from the Pacific. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Atala, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.